All right, guys, welcome back to our fifth workout. Um, it looks like this week the weather's gonna be a lot nicer than last week, so hopefully you guys are taking advantage of this time, getting outside, doing some of these drills, and, and, uh, and getting better. Today, again, like last week, we are only gonna videotape the new drills. Again, there'll be a written portion of the workout where you can see the entire list of all the drills we're doing this week. But as far as what we're gonna videotape, it's only gonna be the new workouts. Um, a couple new shooting contests for you at the end. Um, other than that, we'll get started. Yep. All right, guys, like last week, we're actually gonna start with our conditioning workout. Um, go for 12 minutes as hard as you can before you start the basketball portion. So today we've got 30 jumping jacks, 10 sit-ups, and then you're gonna hold a 30 second plank either on your forearms or on your hands. You have a stopwatch, use that, or just count in your head to 30. Again, you're gonna rotate through that as much as you can in 12 minutes before you start your basketball workout. All right guys, so our first new stationary ball handling drill is called uh, V dribble. So he's gonna start with one ball, his eyes are up, his chest is up, and he's gonna go quick. Go 50 dribbles there and then switch hands. Do 50 with your left hand. Eyes are up in a good athletic stance. Once you do 50 each way, we're gonna add a second ball and we're gonna do the same thing with both balls. Next stationary drill is gonna be the push-pull drill. So again, with his right hand, he's just gonna push it and pull it for 50 reps. After 50, he'll switch hands. Just like that for 50. And again, just like the V dribble, we're gonna add a second ball, and he's gonna do them both together for 50. This one's tough, make sure you're in a nice stance, your eyes are up, you're not watching the balls. Just like that. All right, our new ball handling on the move is with two basketballs. Andres is gonna take two dribbles and cross over. Down and back. If you wanna make this more challenging, you can go two dribbles between your legs, which Andres will do here in a second. Same thing, two dribble change direction. And lastly, if you wanna make it really hard, two dribbles behind the back. All right, now moving into some ball handling and layups. Anders is gonna start on a wing. He's gonna make a hard jab step, one dribble, change of direction, and finish. Again, like most of these drills, get creative with how you make your layups. Go off one foot, two feet. Switch up which hand you finish with. And again, this is a, a drill that you should do from both sides of the court. Hey. All right, after that, we're gonna move into floaters. We're gonna start just stationary. So this is a great drill to kind of work on your touch Work on getting good arc on the ball. So he's gonna start just about eight feet and he's just gonna go off one foot. Work on a nice high arcing shot. Go off one foot, two feet again. This might feel a little bit weird at first, but again, make sure you're working on a nice high arc. Stay balanced, make sure your body is going towards the basket after you shoot it. After that, we're gonna go some floaters on the move. So he's gonna start at the free throw line, same exact thing, just with a little bit of a running start. After he goes from the middle, he's gonna go to the side. He's gonna use the backboard. Same thing. Notice how he gets good high arc. And his body is going towards the hoop after he shoots it. One more. Perfect. All right, guys, so for our new form shooting drill, um, Andres has got a little chair he's gonna use. So you can use a stool, a chair, whatever you have. He's gonna be seated 
right in front of the hoop. And in one motion, he's gonna stand up, shoot, hold this follow through. This is a great drill to work on your balance and really work on your legs while you're shooting. So he's gonna go for a few reps here. You guys should make probably 15 of these. This should not be fast. You should take your time after every one. Just like that. All right guys, our new shooting drill on the move here. We're gonna call this star shooting. So Andres is gonna catch and shoot. And he's essentially just gonna make a star with the spots he shoots from. So we're gonna start at the free throw line, go to the baseline, wing, opposite wing. Hopefully you shoot it a little bit better than Durs does. And then opposite corner. Then back to the free throw line, and you're just gonna follow that pattern. Go for two minutes, challenge yourself, see how many you can make in those two minutes. After you do that, we're gonna do the exact same thing from the three-point line, same star shooting, same order, same everything. All right, guys, and our shooting challenge for this week, we're gonna call it the six spot challenge. So Anders has to make seven shots from six spots. The six spots are the right block, the left block, seven from the right elbow, seven from the left elbow, seven from three at the top of the key, and seven from the free throw line. Once you've missed 10 shots, you have to start the drill over. So the goal is to do this with making, or sorry, the goal of this is to do it while missing less than 10 shots. So we'll watch Anders do it here. He's gonna have to make seven layups from the right side. Call that seven, seven from the left side. Once he makes seven, you're gonna go to the right elbow. Let's say he misses this as his 10th miss. He's gotta go back to the right block and start over. So this drill puts a little bit of pressure on you. Again, challenge yourself. See if you can make 42 shots total without missing 10. All right, guys, and that's the end of our fifth workout. Again, we're just showing the new drills on the video. Make sure you use the, the written version for the entire workout. Um, and that's it. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let us know if you have any questions.